Yo, I'm gonna give you three reasons why I can't put the new Toronto 2 in my top five toy records of all time, as of right now. Reason number one, Tim Duncan. Reason number two, Real Addresses. Reason number three, <laughs> Diamonds. Reason number four, Time. Reason number five, Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lake is too short. <laughs> and then uh, I guess to really wrap it all up, reason number six. Um, if he was to include everything I mentioned with all the other reasons above, this could have been his first commercial mixtape to release under Matt Love. And I guarantee you, this would have been project of the year. All right, you can say I'm being biased, but I'm just being point. I'm just proving a point, though. Like New Toronto Two would have been legendary, um, and he could have just built off of that and continue that going on to New Toronto Three, which personally I think he didn't. You know, others will say otherwise, but to me, it's like. You gotta understand, he has to have that same amount of energy that he put in the previous two tapes into the third one. He didn't do that. Instead, he brought something with him that he should have never brought in the first place. Real talk, that's just how it is. Um, so, anyways, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, it's that Fargo flay. All right. Only three songs I really fuck with from that from that tape in general. From beginning to end. Well, not necessarily beginning to end, but at least from everything I've heard from Tori. You could actually say four. Alright. That's gonna be Penthouse Red. Back in business. Um and um accidents happen. You take out the feature. And then Pricing Spicy as well. There you go. Those are really four songs I could walk away from that make tips to say, hey, this could be salvaged for an actual new Toronto 3 project. Everything else, um, with the exception of Adidas, yeah, just go ahead and put that into the, uh, into the, uh, <laughs> Whatever project you want to release under the, you know, for the industry, get, save that for them. Everything else, I when it comes to New Toronto, that that's for the streets. That's for the folks. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Like that's for the effect. That's your day one fan base. That's that's something that you gotta keep sacred. You can't tarnish that with industry sounds, homie. You can't do that. All right, that's all I gotta say. I'm not saying that he can't do. You know, at the end of the day, he chooses whatever music he wants to make. But when it comes to something as a signature staple brand that he's you know built from ground up you shouldn't tarnish your own work like that homie 100 percent. i know for sure i wouldn't anyways deuces <laughs>